time Jordy made a simple, if somewhat open-ended, request of the holodeck, and it interpreted as a prompt to create an evil, super-intelligent, self-aware, holographic Dr. Moriarty who nearly took over the ship? This is better than that. At least. Even the all-important next step in the creation of Hollow Leah isn't something we can really blame Jordy for. After she initially appears, Hollow Leah functions as a kind of interactive narrator for the program. She listens to Jordy's questions and then spits out an appropriate response from the notes written by the real Dr. Brahms. Jordy asks the computer to create a simulated personality for the hologram based on the real Dr. Brahms to make Hollow Leah easier to work with. The computer does, and in like half an hour, this happens. And look, 